Yeah, yeah, peace and blessings, man. Top of the AM, man. All praise to the most high, man. Subscribe, stay woke, close your eyes to blow up and your eyes to red. Keep your mind on your money. And always keep a swivel head, man. I'm back at your service once again, man. Um, first and foremost, got to thank the most high for waking us up this morning. If it wasn't for the most high, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. And if it wasn't for the most high, y'all wouldn't be able to watch them, man. Second, I love you guys, man. I know it's a lot going on, but it ain't really a lot going on. And I say that to say this is that when you don't live worldly, when you really start, you understand, reading your scriptures and, you know, speaking to the most high, it's like we don't live for the world, we're just living in the world. You understand? And. I want to talk about today, like, a lot of things that's going on as far as, like, these rappers getting killed. You understand? And even if you go previous, it's like, in order to be a rapper in the hood, you need, you need armed security. You understand? Just for trying to make it out the hood. You understand? A lot of people that's rappers that's young that got, you understand, crucified and got killed. Like, chinks. Um... Dude that just passed away, um, what's his name? Um, Triple Beans. But a lot of y'all, um, a lot of y'all gotta understand is this is that I don't know if it's a curse on on the rappers, but y'all gotta realize this: words are spells. Whatever you reap, that's what you sow. So whatever you speaking on, speaking out, it's gonna eventually come back to you. You understand? Like they say, the tongue is mighty than the sword. So, it's just a lot of things going on, like, far as, like, um, in the rap industry. As far as, like, a lot of rappers dying. They just, um, um, this guy, he just, he's one about the feds. Um, Casanova. Another person living a gang life. You understand? So, I just want to tell you, for the young people that's watching me, man. You understand? I'm a little older than y'all. And it's like, um, this is for like the teenagers. Like most teens, I'm probably old enough to be your father. You understand? And um, I gotta talk to the youth because a lot of y'all youth, y'all really don't comprehend like what the street, what the street life is, man. And y'all gotta understand this is that the streets don't love you back, man. I don't care how long you've been in them. It's only a matter of time, man. And when you in these streets. There's only two things you're going to get. You're going to get death or jail. Bottom line, death or prison. Those are the only two things you're going to get when you really play in these streets hardcore, man. The streets is always going to be there. That's what you got to realize. When y'all dead and gone, the streets is going to be there. When you in that grave, the streets is going to be there. When you incarcerated, the streets is going to be there, man. Bottom line. So a lot of y'all dudes, and it hurts me because a lot of these dudes that's getting murdered, they young. You understand? I dealt with like family members, you understand, who've passed away due to, you understand, gun violence. And a lot of y'all young kids don't understand is that your mother feel a pain, your father feel a pain. You understand? Or your family feel a pain. Whether who's your guardian at the time, they feel pain, man, when you're gone. So a lot of y'all young dudes, y'all gotta really wake up, man, because it's serious, man. It's not wrong with working, man. I work. It's not wrong with working. It's not wrong with, you understand, walking away. You're not less of a man. But society, music, they pump these things in your brain. You understand? And they indoctrinate, they indoctrinate you to think that being tough is the way. And it's not, bro. So basically... Your losses is they gain because you buying their albums, you buying their streams. You understand? You buying their, you buying their EPs, you buying their singles, and they tear you down, man. Within. So I want a lot of you brothers to understand is that a lot of guys, a lot of older dudes, they ain't real men. They not really real role models. You understand? They don't love you. You understand? Somebody that love you is gonna teach you to be the best. Whether, it's, whether they screaming at you or not, it's called tough love. These dudes that's doing music, and I'm not even gonna lie to you, even with me, like the music I used to do, I used to, um, I still have messages in my music, 
But a lot of my music was saying, oh, go run and hurt this person, go run. Nah, a lot of my music was coming from my pain, oh, basically how I grew up. You understand? It wasn't saying, oh, the gang life is the right life or, yo, go get this gun and run down or be the big homie. It wasn't saying none of that in my, in my previous music when I wasn't woke or when I wasn't saved by the most high or I wasn't saved in the blood of Christ. You understand? So we all make mistakes, but a lot of us don't got big brothers to tell us the right things to do. A lot of us don't got fathers that got us to the right path. So what do we do? We go to the streets. Well, I'm telling y'all guys who don't got fathers and big brothers, I'm here. And y'all got to stay out them streets, man, because it's a war, man. I'm telling you guys, man, it's a war. And if y'all guys got kids, show them these videos, man. Y'all got to understand, I don't care about fame. I don't care about fame. I don't care about money because all that's living worldly, man. And I'm past all of that, man. When you really start reading the scriptures, you got to bypass all of that, man. Because the only thing we have now is reading the scriptures, man. The only thing we have now is God. The only thing we have now is the most high. The only thing we have now is the um, blood of Christ. That's all we have now, bro. Nothing else matters. No more. You understand? Because we older now. We start understanding. And we got to instill this into the, young, into the youth, man. Because they just did an indictment, uh, 18, uh, 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 indictment on the gorillas, gorilla stones. And it's like, that ain't even cool. You understand? How y'all hurting each other? And then it's bloods on bloods. Like you got the gorillas beefing with the Max. And you understand? It's crazy. How y'all under one umbrella, but y'all got beef with each other. So how y'all gonna fight the oppressors if y'all oppressing each other? Y'all don't even go together. So now you at like a double battle. Because if you if you if you gorilla and you beefing with your own set, how you gonna go against the the other the other um oppressors that's against you? You understand? Then you got the cops. How? And you're going against your own people. So you're already in a lose lose battle. So the best thing you do is just stay out of it. Work. Take care of your kids. You understand? I don't see too many working people getting indicted. You understand? So a lot of y'all brothers, y'all need to y'all need to instill us into these kids, man. Show them this video, man. You understand? Ain't nothing wrong with you understand? Working, man. Ain't nothing wrong with going to school. Ain't nothing wrong with just doing the right thing, man. I know a lot of women probably don't like that, but forget them, bro. As long as you're on the righteous path, man. As long as you know when judgment day come, you understand you're on the most high side. That's the goal. We all make mistakes. I'm not saying that. But you got to make sure you feed your spirit. You got to make sure you show, you understand, the most high praise. You got to do that, man. But a lot of y'all guys, y'all got to y'all gotta teach these boys, man, these young men, man, because they lost, man. Y'all got to talk to them, man. And then y'all got to set example on top of talking to them. Y'all can't just tell them, oh, do this, do that, do that, do that, and y'all not doing it. You have to set example, man. And the way you set the example, by doing the right thing and telling them. Because these boys is lost, man. And everything is targeted on, on a young black men, bro. My brothers. Y'all don't see black women getting killed like that. And not to say that they should get killed, but y'all don't see black women targeted like that. Because it's all a system, man. To knock the black men out. That's all. And then we exterminate each other like it's no tomorrow. So I need a lot of y'all brothers, man. Y'all need to wake up, man. And y'all gotta, y'all gotta, I'm telling y'all, man, I've been through a lot of stuff, man. I've been through things, jump, robbed. I've been through a lot of situations, man. And y'all gotta understand this, man. The best retaliation is no retaliation. The best retaliation is letting God take care of everything, man. That's the best retaliation, man. The best retaliation is leave it in God's hands, man. That's the best retaliation, man. Let God do the work, man. People that do things to you, forgive them, man. You understand? Because God forgave you, man. I know it's hard, but you have to do it, man. As long as you're praying to the Most High, He's going to keep you shielded, man, at all times, man. You got to pray to him, man. He's going to keep you shielded, man. And ain't nothing more than, you understand, than, than God himself, man. Ain't nothing wrong with following, you understand, the laws, man, that he, he, he put on his earth for us, man. Excuse me, fellas. Excuse me, y'all. You understand? So 
I just want a lot of you brothers. And it's not easy, but y'all gotta start from somewhere, man. And like I said, we going into a new year, 2021. You understand? Let's try to start off on a righteous path, man, for the 2021, man. <clears throat> because God is gonna open the door and A lot of y'all guys, y'all don't understand, man. The more you pray, the more you shield it, man. You got to pray, man. Because without the most high, nothing matters, man. So I need y'all, I need a lot of you brothers. Y'all need to talk to a lot of the younger cats, man. And you know, just be in their ear, man. Be a real big brother, man. Besides telling them, you understand? Show them besides telling them, man. And that's the only way we're going to get where we need to be, man. Especially in our community, man. Y'all brothers got to embrace the young, the young cats, man. And stop always trying to put them down. Stop always trying to, you know what I'm saying, tell them who's boss. And stop always trying to show them who's boss. And stop always trying to tell them what and what not to do. Embrace them. Talk to them. Respect them. Love them. Because a lot of us, a lot of us is, is lost, man. And, and I was one of these kids, too, at a point, man, where I was mad at the world. Where I was playing with guns. Like, you understand? Where I was, I was just mad at the world, man. I wanted to get my hand on a firearm. You understand? And I didn't really have no big brother. Like, you understand? I ain't have no father. Typically, I had like a couple of brothers in the, in the neighborhood, big bros in the neighborhood. But it's different when it's like a father. It's different when it's like your own blood. And it's not to take nothing from them because a lot of the brothers, they showed me and they taught me and I appreciate that from my heart. Not to never discredit y'all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. I appreciate y'all for being in my life and helping me and showing me. But ain't nothing like, you understand, your father. You understand your own dad, somebody you could call dad and pops and you understand? So I say that to say this is that um, God is great, man. And there's no, there's no more stability. Ain't no more, ain't no solid stability than God, man. And I want a lot of you brothers to understand that, man. And just talk to these little brothers, man, about, you understand, the gun violence because y'all got to understand this, man. When you go to jail, ain't no coming back, man. You understand? After after five years, you want to think about the crime. Well, not even after a couple of weeks, you sitting in that cell. You thinking like, dag, man, what did I do, man? You understand? And your guys that you that you want to look big in front of, they're not coming to visit you. They're not coming to write you. They're not helping your kids out. You done, bro. When you sitting in that cell and the CEO doing a count, and the CEO telling you to wake up and you sitting in your cell and nobody there, you didn't hear from your parents in eight months, or you sitting in that cell and your mother passed away and you gotta go see her in shackles, you understand? Or you were sitting in that cell, you understand I'm explaining to you? And you telling and, and, and you sitting back and you hurt that and you hurt that kid's family because you killed them. Or when you sitting in front of that judge, you waiting for sentence and your heart is beating. You understand? Or when you in that cuff and you on a bus going upstate and you don't know what's going to happen? Were you sitting in that cell, you shocked to somebody that you don't even know? All them things running through your mind, brother, man. And you got to understand this, man. That, that'll be your judgment. Then after when you pass away, you don't even know what the most high going to have instilled in, in for you. You don't even know what he's going to have instilled in. You understand? When you come. Well, you don't know what he's going to have waiting for you when you come. These are all thoughts, man. Y'all brothers got to understand. And then after a certain amount of years, people forget about you. Not even a, a couple of months. Everybody forget about you. They put a couple of posts on, oh, the big bro, the snap. But you done, bro. You done. It's like you dead. You understand? So it's like you did all this to somebody. You shot, you shot up a neighborhood or you shot somebody. And then you sitting in that cell, man, and then you just waiting. You don't know what the judge going to do to you. Your heart is beating when you go to your court dates. You on the phone. You understand? People people not answering your phone calls. That's what happened, man. Your baby mom's out here. She get knocked up by somebody else. You have a kid. They get molested while you incarcerated. And you doing life. You can't even come out and do something to them. But these are things that that you understand you pay when you when you go to jail. So a lot of y'all guys, y'all need to stop trying to be tough, man, and seek the most high, man. Pray, man, because when you in that cell, man, and you sitting in that what's that 
eight by ten or whatever the whatever the measurements are. It's not funny, man. You understand that blood things don't matter, man. Blood and crip and whatever gang you are, wool and shoe, that don't matter, man. When you're in a courthouse, man, when that judge sentencing you, you can't tell the court, the courts, oh, I was wool, please let me go. Oh, I was blood, please, I'm um, give me a lighter sentence. Oh, I was crip. It don't work like that, bro. You understand? You can't tell your lawyer, yo, I was I was the big homie of the Crips, and he and he and he talked to the judge, lower your sentence, or he give you a discount on lawyer fee. Know what I mean? So learn from other people, man, because a lot of these brothers is done. A lot of these brothers is locked up for murder. They're done. A lot of these dudes is is, is locked up for gang affiliation. They're done. So don't be like these guys, man. Know what I mean? Seek the Most High. Read your scriptures and do the right thing, man. It's not hard to do, man. It's not wrong with working, man. It's not wrong with working, man. It's not wrong with somebody working and minding their business. It's not wrong with that. So I need you guys to keep being great. Put God first, man. And like stay away from that gang life, man. You understand? Stay out the streets, man. Stay out the streets, man. Alright? I love you guys, man. Keep being great. Scrap, stay woke. Close your eyes as a blue. Open your eyes to red, keep your mind on your money, and always keep a swivel head. I'm back at your service. Like, comment, subscribe the video. Just share the video, man, because this is deep, man, for the young brothers, man. Leave that gang life alone, man. All right? A million salutes. Keep being great. I love you guys, man. All praise to the most high. Y'all get a million salutes, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video, man. I love you guys.